Greetings this Thursday morning of the Easter week of the third Easter uh, week. We are still a little under snow cover here. It's, it's promising to warm up over the next few days to bring us back spring. Um, today is Earth Day. It's a day of celebrating the Earth and all of God's creation. So we are uh, hopefully opening our hearts to that creation all around us today. My name is Ken Pepin. I'm the rector here at St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Fairport, New York, and delighted to pray with you this morning. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Our psalm this morning is psalm, a portion of Psalm 37. Do not fret yourself because of evildoers. Do not be jealous of those who do wrong. For they shall soon wither like the grass, and like the green grass fade away. Put your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on its riches. Take delight in the Lord, and he shall give your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord and put your trust in him, and he will bring it to pass. He will make your righteousness as clear as the light and your just dealing as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret yourself over the one who prospers, for the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger, leave rage alone. Do not fret yourself, it leads only to evil. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. In a little while the wicked shall be no more. You shall search out their place, but they will not be there. But the lowly shall possess the land. They will delight in abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash at them with their teeth. The Lord laughs at the wicked because he sees that their day will come. The wicked draw their sword and bend their bow to strike down the poor and needy, to slaughter those who are upright in their ways. Their sword shall go through their own heart and their bow shall be broken. The little the righteous has is better than the great riches of the wicked. For the power of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. Our scripture passage today continues the Gospel of Luke, <clears throat> chapter 5, beginning at the first verse. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all day long, all night, but you have caught nothing. Yet, if you say so, I'll let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them, and they came and filled both boats. So they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Our theme this week has been trust, and um, sometimes it does require us to to trust God in our in our meanderings. Um, sometimes we find ourselves in quagmires or or difficult situations that there doesn't seem to be any clear answer or clear direction, and we turn to God uh, in trust. And there are other times where we've kind of given up. We've uh, basically threw our hands up and said, there's no way. There's, you know, we've been working at this for a long time and nothing seems to be working. And yet, putting our trust in God uh, and allow God's grace to um, find that solution in our midst sometimes is the way to go. I think of that story in the gospel of just a such a really neat experience huh? to um, where they had been fishing all night and nothing <laughs> and then Jesus comes along and tells them to put out and there you know there's an abundance of, of grace abundance of fish uh, to have that experience to know that God has our back uh, to know that God is in our corner um, that through grace, wonderful things can happen to us, even after many years of, of struggle. Um, that things can, can occur that bring us hope, bring us grace, uh, bring us love. And we as a community can be a part of that hope uh, for others. Sometimes our actions, our, our giving of ourselves, our love, our... Um, are taking the time to to be with others in their time of quagmire and their time of uh, struggle um, can can have a wonderful effect um, and bring about an abundance of grace. So we think about that today. What does that take for us to trust in God? You know, after we've exhausted all of our our own uh, gifts and our own ways of doing things. You know, when, when is it that we turn ourselves over to God and invite God to intervene in our lives and to trust that God is present and, and there, even in the midst of struggle? So let us pray today on this Earth Day for our, our Earth, for this dwelling place, this place that we... Um, interestingly enough through our pandemic have come to perhaps appreciate more um, having slowed down our lives enough this past year to recognize the beauty of nature all around us um, people have commented you know they haven't never really uh, even listened to the quiet uh, that's out there sometimes um, especially during the, the peak of our pandemic when um, you know, the industries and so on around us had slowed and, and uh, slowed down to a point where, again, nature was kind of recovering. And to remind ourselves of this, this fragile home that we have on this earth and all of the ways in which, uh, in which God is, creation is all around us, reminding us of the Creator and His hand and work in our midst. So we pray for our earth, we pray for all those who, all of our farmers, all of those who um, work the earth in order for its production of food and well-being for people throughout the world. We pray for justice and peace, environmental justice and peace. People are Things as simple as, you know, the provision of food, um, healthy food for poor neighborhoods, people who are trapped in, in cement cities where there are no greenery and nothing of life to, uh, to, to focus on. Um, you know, that, that because of the generosity of others, even, you know, food, fresh food can find its way in, into those cities. 
we think of the laborers, those who are uh, working the fields, those who do so for minimal wages and you know, who come and leave their families for months and months at a time to, um, to again, to work the migrant fields. Um, do we ever stop and take advantage, no, take advantage, <laughs> do we ever stop to, to not take advantage of these people, but to recognize them, to recognize how, how their work, their labor really allows us to enjoy the fruits of this earth. For all of the people that, um, again, um, call us to conserve our, our earth, for all the ways in which, you know, parcels of land have been separated out as green areas, um, different ways in which, again, um, this, this nature, this creation of God is being nurtured and strengthened um, and recovery sometimes from our abusive ways. So we pray for all of that this day of we celebrate our earth. Um, it's a beautiful custom in when I was living in South America that uh, some folks still did <laughs> um, is they would if you had if you were given a glass of water or a drink or even some food um, that you would take a small portion of it and return it to the earth uh, to sort of toast the Pachamama or the, the Mother Earth. So uh, I think it's a beautiful tradition and one that uh, hopefully is, um, reminds us of again God who created us all, that we put our trust in God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord God Almighty, and everlasting Father, you brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May God bless us this day. Bless us as we are surrounded by all of God's creation. Singing God's praises, reminding us of how much God loves us, how valuable we are in God's eyes. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Have a blessed day. Enjoy the earth. <laughs>